Hi, I'm Darren. I'm Tyler. And I'm Rich. And here we are for another episode of Three Foot Good. So we're going to talk about some Star Wars Legion. Another one because we're on a kick, kind of. Sort of. Well, I mean, Cody's cool. Um, yeah. Darren's been playing a lot of Cody. I have been. Uh, I've played uh, quite a bit of Cody here, just using it, uh, the, the newly released one. Um, and so... What's that? I think it's my stomach. Yeah, it's either my stomach or there's an alien in the back of it. Well, I was going to say, I know someplace. Yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, no. So I have been playing quite a bit of Cody here lately. Uh, Justice card. Justice card. I like it. I, I do like it. Uh, so, and, and I've been playing Cody ISPs. Uh, we will get the list. Uh, attached to it this time uh, somebody asked for it last time and I didn't get that taken care of well I tried to but I'm not the technical wizard that Rich is and so it didn't work out that well but uh, we will get it attached this time but it's probably gonna change uh, yeah yeah so <laughs> a little bit Darren might be borderline getting my syndrome of just making lists and tweaking it because I've made several Cody lists no I'm, I haven't I'm never, got to play with him yet though I'm not I'm not that bad so <laughs> Uh, so because of him having uh, in this list, uh, what is it? Quick, think not quick. Uh, take cover. Yeah, take cover. He's got take cover. So I put portable scanners on him. I played him in four games. Yeah, not once have I thrown out dodges. I haven't. I haven't used it yet. Uh, take cover yet? Uh, because the way I'm playing him, this is more offensive, uh, and so I've got to find something different. And I don't know. That might be a wasted skill on him. Yeah, yeah, targeting scopes wouldn't be bad, but that might be a wasted skill on him. Or uh, maybe I've got to consider using it that way because I do have Vigilance on the Clone Commander. And so if I toss those out early, uh, yeah, right? Toss them out early, then Vigilance, I can keep that, keep them around a little bit more on some of my clones, give them a little survivability. I don't know, I may have talked about this last time that we talked about doing this. But anyway, that's uh, kind of how things are going or how I've been playing it and how the games have kind of washed out a little bit. Uh, yeah, I do like it. Um, the, the ISPs, actually, with the beams. Two ISPs with beams and R2. Uh, the way I've been doing it is you keep R2 in the middle of the two. Usually you try and hide R2. Two ISPs. One ISP, I understand it's kind of hard with one ISP because it can't see over anything, and so you've got cover issues. Uh, but with two, being able to place them and use lanes, um, it seems to work out better. And they can't concentrate. I want to just kill it in one turn or two. And direct vehicle uh, is a wonderful drug. <laughs> yeah, direct vehicle is pretty awesome. Uh, you're able to use or leave one last if you want for something to actually open up, especially in the beginning turns. Um, it's kind of what I've been using it for. Uh, and then with that, plus the one pip uh, synchronized defensive. Uh, six. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm able, with fives in there, I'm able to get six out, uh, six orders out that way <laughs> on a on a one pip oh, yeah with with all that so it's yeah it's it's working pretty cool now what i have found though is after i get the uh turn one and two uh then things kind of shake out a little different i ran against vader last night uh he dove too early with vader um and his uh force push came about an eighth of an inch short uh getting himself wrapped because of that, thankfully, Darren was the gracious opponent and offered to allow him to take it back. I did. I did. Well, you know he had, what? It's, he hadn't played in a while. Yeah, so it's been a while a since rusty. he played. So, you know, go ahead and take that back. You can put him back there. And he said, no, nah, that's where I put it. So that's cool. But that then forced my entire army to shoot at Vader. Uh, and it took uh, it took until my last activation to actually get him killed out in the open. Vader in the open. Uh, and it took till that last activation to get him killed. It's um, nasty. Yeah, because, you know. The, the one thing this list will lack is that you've got no uh, linebacker uh, and anything that, if you get some hand-to-hand -hand, uh, melee stuff in your face, you're probably going to be in trouble. Um, so actually, because of that, knowing he had Vader, uh, I stayed back uh, until turn, the after turn three. I didn't actually start moving up. Oh, I intercept three. the transmission. That intercept. means yeah, he yeah. just conceded three points. I conceded the first three points. On turn two. On turn two, knowing that if I moved up, Vader was just going to chew me a new asshole. Um, and so then I let Vader come to me. 
I was able to kill Vader, and then on turn four, beginning of turn four, I was able to move up everything because I'd done enough damage. But it's just like any list. you got to keep it in mind. Uh, well, it's it's like the Pike Plate list. Uh, the Chris, four, yeah. Echo Base guys, Defenders. Echo Base Defenders. He's got four turrets, um, and then the veterans, and then he's got a couple of the added... Mark twos. Uh, yeah, Mark twos. So when you go up against those, that turn zero is really important if you can make sure that he's got to have thumbs and then you take out their thumbs. It, it, turn zero can be huge. Uh, yep. If you don't already know that, turn zero can be huge. On some of these lists that seem to be meta lists, you have to kind of look for a different way to beat them. It's kind of like when we first started playing Rebels uh, with Legion. Yes, you, Rebels we were, can't yeah, win stand-up fights. Yeah, you can't win all. a stand-up fight, so you got You have to play the objective. So I think, and I think you kind of forget that a little bit when you go to red saves. Right, when you have Mandos and yeah. Operative Luke. Yeah, and yeah. So you have dodges to, everywhere. You really have to, I think, put more time into, and I think the good players do, which is why I may not be a good player. But you have to put more. <laughs> you have to put more time and effort uh, into your turn zero stuff uh, to make sure it fits with your list. And I think for a while, bids kind of went away. I mean, they were huge for a while. Yep. And then they kind of went away a bit. And then they kind of came back a little bit. I think they're kind of coming back a little bit because some of the lists out there now um, are so weird. Uh, in fact, uh, leading into that, that'll kind of dive right into what happened at Nova. Yeah, I where was, you, you can, said you mentioned meta. I was yeah. going to use that as the segue. Yeah, and so we'll kind of go over uh, what happened at Nova uh, and some of the lists. And maybe discuss what you can do with making sure if you're afraid of running into some of these lists that are a little meta, that are a little uh, odd, making sure that you have at least... Uh, An you, idea. Yeah, or... You have a plan yeah. for, this is how I'm going to deal with lightsaber wielders. Yeah. I'm going to shoot them and stay back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, not yeah. let them get to me. Right, or this is how i got to deal with the double AA5 swoop bike list. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's out there doing stuff now. And now that uh, I think it's it's Blizzard Force now, so the four speeder bike thing is coming around. Uh, four speeder being, bikes is, is a being thing. used. Uh, so you've got to kind of the meta is is it's changing. It's there changing. Is, it's and it's bigger and it's more varied and people are getting use out of stuff that they weren't getting use out of. The, the term that has been going around in a lot of the Legion podcasts. So people that play Legion probably know this, but it's it's the Wild West. There is no one single, it's not triple snipers like it was when yeah, snipers yeah. was a thing. It's not, oh, I'm just going to run mall B2s. No, I mean, right. it's, or it Rex is, right, or it's, yeah. Rex yeah. no, Rex Star is no, it's, yeah. you're done, it's, it can be anything as we show, because we'll go over kind of quickly the, the top right. eight at Nova. So Kyle Dornboss won it. Um, he is part of the, the fifth trooper. He's on the Notorious Scoundrels. And he brought, man, he brought Aiden and Boba. And all, Boba finally wins another big tournament before even all of his updated cards come out. Yeah, His new card came out that gives him the extra die and gives him the independent, the mercenary card. Um, but yeah, so he brought a Aiden, Boba, uh, Shore Troopers with some Mortars, uh, Storm Troopers. He had some Strike Teams. He had... Some pikes, and then he had uh, Infernal Squad from the ISF. Right. So he had the high velocity to deal with the pike spam that has been prevalent in a lot of the big tournaments recently. I, meaning you I take, threw, I threw a unit of pikes in mine just to get for a uh, cheaper activation. I got it because uh, we're, we're clones. We need right. a cheaper activation. Yeah, we do. We yeah. yeah, yeah. If you take more than three core, yeah, yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> um, but the. The, the meta list before this was you run six pikes with capos and maul and you've got tons of dodges on your pikes that ignore crits because they have situational awareness and that's just an issue. Well, you can't spend dodges against high velocity, so that all just goes out the door. Right. So so that's how he kind of hedged his bet there. Um, Boba Fett's a good dealing. He can kind of deal with lightsabers because of his command cards. Uh, he has impervious... They have to be careful because of bounty, because if Boba kills them, not only did you just lose your Jedi he or your, your Sith, yep. he just got an extra victory point. So coming in second place was the, uh, it's called Mad Raccoon Furry Road, is the name of his list. It Perfect. is two AA5s, one of them with the uh, field commander, 
the raiding party leader. The other one with the reckless driver. He's got two black suns, one with a shotgun, one with the uh, grenade upgrade. He's got pike syndicates in there. He's got the capo in there. It is just, he's got three swoop bikes. And he actually made this list on Legion 99, the podcast when he was on there. He's like, all right, here, I'll, I'll just make this crazy list. Let's do this. And he ends up taking second place. This is the same Evan Boris that did Vader Lad at Adepticon and made it to top four with what everybody assumed was the worst Empire vehicle around. Maybe a little higher than the game well, at the time. He's a pretty good player. He, yeah, he won't, he won't say it. If you talk to him, he says, no, he's just all right. But no, he's pretty good. He's a pretty good player. He's pretty good. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that was just a, he's going to hand out suppression and displace you and then dump Black Suns right on top of you, which are upgraded super fleet troopers on steroids uh, with what they can do. Uh, so then we have third place was a Blizzard Force with Veers, the two special Stormtrooper units, Snowtroopers, and four-speeder bikes. Because four-speeder bikes and Veers was a thing. a thing. For all of you old-timers and old veterans, you'll remember the triple fight veteran. I mean, stop using old. I feel, <laughs> I feel, I feel bad the, because I'm old. The triple bike Veers meta that was out there forever. Well, that's coming back now with four-speeder yeah. bikes because it turns out four double rainbows with Impact 2 is kind of nice, I guess. Uh, then we have... Finally, in fourth place, a Republic list. <laughs> yes! Uh, Mike Berry, uh, Dashes, uh, for those of you that know him on the Discord and how he goes by online, had a Pike Capo, Anakin Skywalker, Padme, Pike Syndicate Foot Soldiers, Phase Ones, and then some Strike Teams. Uh, so he took the Gar and added in some Pikes. Gave him some cheaper activations, helped that out. The Pike Capo is amazing with Anakin because he can stop Anakin's flaw from ever affecting him yeah. because when you get flawed you have to you do it before command cards are chosen so oh no anakin can't get, be given an order you instead of taking uh whatever padme's one pip is i can't remember off the top of my head right now but you take the capo the mercenary one which states just put an order token face down on this card it's not on anakin oh it's a commander oh i pull it up and use it and i give it to anakin anakin didn't receive a face up order token but he still gets to activate when he wants. So that's an amazing use of that. Um, going down into fifth place, we have the... Probably not intended. Probably not how it was intended yeah. to be used. No, <laughs> probably not. But that's okay. But we'll find a way. Right. right. I mean, you can do that with anybody that has a flaw, though. Callus yeah. has a flaw. Yeah. Lando has a flaw. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's got multiple uses. Right, right. Um, I, I mean, it can even screw Dooku. If Dooku does his, you're going to put things back. Well, that's why I don't have any face-up order tokens to begin with. Right. There's none to put back in my thing. Right. Or the uh, it's, uh, the Rebel cart that allows you to kick back like the Echo Base Defenders yeah. and then their regular yeah. ones. Yeah. So. Uh, then we have another Blizzard fourth Force, this time with Darth Vader, Commander Darth Vader. I wanted to check that. Another officer, four speeder bikes, two snows, and then two of the snow Stormtroopers with the double heavy weapons. You'll notice every Blizzard Force has that double heavy weapon unit it's pretty good and four speeder bikes yeah. uh sixth place we've got a the only rebel list in the top eight and it's a crazy rebel list because you're thinking operative luke with a whole bunch of dlts that's what the meta was was you just run op luke with dlt captains i know nope no this is a a wonderful i made a list kind of like this and i called it teamwork um it has Cassian Andor, K2SO, Han Solo, Chewbacca. You've got three Wookiee Warrior melee guys, um, but they did not have the extra guy. So they're a little light, no heavy weapon, just, just nine wounds on each squad, just running forward. forward right? uh, then he's got some, a fleet trooper and then a couple of rebel troopers. It, it's uh, perfect. Love it. Love it. Uh, seventh plates is the pure clone force of Keegan Evans with his wonderful Anakin clone commander Padme phase ones, some strike teams, and then triple barks. He's been running that since before Anakin got his updates. So yeah, again, practice will make you good. It, yeah. you, you can deal with a lot of different things if you practice the list. And that's, and that's something too that it, when we did, uh, cause we used to do a lot of 
X-Wing tournaments too. And if you take a list that may not be a meta list, but you run that list all the time against everything, yep. and you know what you can do and know what your weakness are, weaknesses are and know what your strengths are, you can actually make more out of a list than what out of you, a lesser uh, list out of what some people might deem a lesser list right depending on just keep running the same thing over and over and over again uh we've got a guy here that's got an imperial list that is god he's been running that for years now you're talking about jeff right? yeah, yeah yeah steiner so and he's yeah. every he's always making little changes as he plays he'll play four or five games and he'll make a little change and he plays four or five games and He'll make a little change, and now that's a. It's just. It's it's oppressive. It, it's, it's, it's veers, a pain six in stormtroopers, the ass. three e webs, aims everywhere. He's got concussion grenades, which even I don't know what that's really for, but that's okay. It's he's yeah, well, it, it gets rid of cover, but he's throwing so many crits you don't need to worry about cover anyways. But yeah, it's, it's just it is. It's a damn good list, and and he plays it very well, and it's and very basic, and, he, and he, he always plays it. And it's so tough. we just need to start taking disarray, because you force him to do disarray, and well, then he can't. Yeah, because then he has to put. Well, and so out. speaking of that, then <laughs> right. So speaking of that, then now you guys realize you're going to give him ideas. Oh, that's, know, all that's, right. that's all right. That's all right. That's right. But he, he already has a bid though. Yeah, he's and got then a bid. He can just drop the grenades and yeah. get a bigger bid. He's got a bid, but he doesn't even care about whether no. or not what, what no, you pick or what side he goes. Oh, to. you 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 want to force yourself to come at me? All okay. right, yeah, perfect. He doesn't, he Walk doesn't towards care. me, and I'll shoot he you. He plays the list so much all the time. He, he yep. knows the list. He, he, um, yep. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Sorry. No. Uh, yeah. So then, then eighth eighth place, last place was another imperialist, another Iden list. Uh, no other commander this time. It's Iden Shore Troopers, Death Troopers, Inferno Squad, Imperial Special Forces, and then that one, Triple Bikes. So I guess I know. I know. It looks like bikes. Swoop bikes back. and yeah. Yeah. Triple Bikes yeah. and Quad Bikes my, my and Triple yeah. Bark Speeders. Right. My opponent had uh, dual bikes in yeah. it. So last it's, night. Yep. It, there is no single meta. But you will notice something was not listed oh, yeah. in that top eight. Yeah, no droids. No droids. Now, is that because people have moved away? Is that because people have have gone to the droid players have seen what the pikes do and so have gone to play pikes in Shadow Collective? Is it because the droid players took things that just in this area they got countered? I mean, I don't know. I don't have it's, how many droid players and, there and were. We so. don't know, and that's that's it too. I don't. Okay, I'm not a, I never have been a meta chaser. I, no, and neither are you. No, I play and, my list, and and we'll I don't one for life. And I don't think uh, a lot of people in our area are meta chasers. Um, in fact, we've got our local store has got a bunch of Shadow Collective stuff on the shelves right now. Yep. Some of us, like I bought the box set, and I've got. Mando's on my panning table upstairs that I just put together, but I'm not finishing them. I got two units of pikes put together and primed uh, to use for this list. One of them to use for this list, but I'm painting Napoleonics right now on my That's and it. and getting it. Oh, I, I'm also getting my sixth because I need one sixth table ready sixth for table. Our yes tournament. for our tournament yeah. in October. Yeah, and, shameless and we can, plug. Yeah, and so Except Rich still full and got yeah, waitlist started. Yeah, still. we do have a rate wait list. Twenty four players waitlist. Yeah, so, yeah, kind of excited so, about that. Kind of but really excited. But yeah, so they're still sitting there on that table because uh, I'm, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if, if we, I don't know if you guys in your metas or anything, and you can leave in comments, uh, if you know people that chase the meta, if people are actually, you know, jumping ship from one to another because it's it's winning tournaments or anything. I don't That's expensive. know. That's expensive. <laughs> now that was a 40k thing. Oh, I knew yeah. guys, I yeah. knew guys when I did the 40k tournament thing. Local that, guys do that with 40k. They'll yeah. chase the meta. Yeah, I chasing can't. the meta. But so. but I haven't really seen that at least around here nope. with we, our group. Uh, with every that. once yeah. in a while, somebody will will switch allegiances and pick up a different army, and they'll they'll, they'll try something. They usually they did. I mean, well, yeah. oh, I've got three. The only one I don't really have is droids, and that's because I didn't want to put the fuckers together. Yeah. And then I put pice together, and I was like, wait, the heads are three parts instead of two. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. At least they're somewhat big, so you can hold on to them better than the sort of. ones. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, so what you're saying is the meta is de-evolving and the game is evolving. Yeah. It, everything is so new right now. That's And, well, and it's not even that is... It's, there's more. There's more, and with stuff that we know is coming. Yeah. We got Din coming. That's going to give bounty to the Rebels. 
That's going to be huge for right. the bounty hunters. Yeah, so, You've got FET coming for the Rebels. You've got the IG droids right. that are going to be for both Empire and Rebels. We know that there's the Dark Troopers coming, which means it's a heavy support that's a thumb that can do objectives. Which, oh, that means it's it can it can do the objectives that can everybody else can do. Which means you can't just stop it from picking yeah, up the box yeah. because it's a tank. Yeah. No, it's a tank that has thumbs. They're oh, it's, yeah. So there's it's it's changing, and I kind of expected to see some spider droids in you know the top eight. Yep. But but, uh, but so I the meta is that Pikes. Drove them out. The six pike activation would wipe the floor with spiders because all the pikes with their disruptors, all of them have impact one. So that gets through the armor. Well, there were no Shadow Collective pike lists. There was a Shadow Collective AA5 yeah, with two yeah. pikes and two Black Sun Enforcers. So, so it's like that didn't... So the counter to spiders didn't show up. So this are spiders back because spiders... Wreck A fives if they get that ion off on them. I, I like the fact that we're now getting the uh, Rex Star list. I think went as big and everybody took it A because it was what we had. It was it was what clone players had, but it was also easy button. Yeah. It was I I I did not use Rex Star. I didn't like that. I used standby sharing once or at one event, a couple games, and I was like. Man, this doesn't seem right. This well, just doesn't see, and it, and it wasn't. I always tried things. it, but I didn't do it well enough to. Uh, oh, well, I, I mean, just wasn't. I, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I, but yeah. but there's no Yoda yeah. list. Oh, Yoda yeah, Padme yeah, yeah, Saber. Yeah, yeah. That's none of that. That's gone. Here. That's that's a thing that was here and gone. Yeah. So it, it is kind of nice, I think, or refreshing for Legion right now, is that you can't pin it down. So there's there's all kinds right. of stuff showing up. Only one rebel. Only one rebel now. There was another rebel, uh, at least one rebel, uh, because Bushman, Bushfax, John Bushman, talked about it on the Fifth Trooper that he was one of the undefeateds on day one for Nova, but he already had an invite, and instead of playing an extra game between the fourth and fifth undefeateds, he just said the guy he was supposed to play didn't have the invite. I concede. Go try and win your invite. Which is way so, cool, by the way. Way that's cool. Way that way cool. is an awesome that that shows how cool this community is, because I don't see that happening. In a 40k tournament, well, I don't even see that happening in an X-wing tournament. But yeah. I'm out of the loop with X-wing, so yeah, maybe it yeah, will. I haven't. Yeah, maybe it does. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't played. But that's just cool for us. Since second edition, I guess. Yeah. All that much. But yeah, so uh, that that was really cool on his part to be able to. If you don't have the, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't have worlds. I'm. There is a rumor. Rumor. There's rumors that there will rumors be rumors that there's going to be last chance qualifier. Yeah, last chance come. qualifier. But. Which is, I, yeah, that's gonna, oh, I could have dry had to have no, I don't think, because I don't think it's a bottom. I think oh, you, it, you played your 10 games, so you're ranked. Really? Yeah. Oh, God, because I think it was like 200. No, I you was were like, like 110, I think. Uh-uh. Yeah. I never got that high. I'm was, pretty sure. Yeah, I thought it was like 160 we'll or 180. <laughs> well, see, we can't play in our own tournament, so yeah, we can't help right. ourselves there. Yeah. So Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's, it, it's, it's, I guess what I want to have people get out of this video is that, don't worry about what all of the podcasts or all the YouTube videos no. are saying is, this is the list you take. This is Play what's your good. list, man. Play what you like. Yeah. Because and there is there is hardly any, I can't say none, there are hardly any absolutely trash units in this game. There are a couple. And there are some that need adjustments and need fixing. Right. But there are, there's hardly any just, that are just oh you'll never take this so just like it's just like me with the isps nobody's taking isps but if you take two if you play with it you might be able to find a way to make it work just we like, will still at some point make a anakin lat list oh yeah yeah for yeah, people yeah, yeah it's just the last one we did just turned into not lat because we're like well let's drop the latin head this thing <laughs> yeah. but we'll go through that yeah yeah. So, yeah there's i mean there are there are there are ways to make everything work yes uh, and there's going to be a hard counter to everything that you do. I, I have a Cody ATRT list that I'm going through. That that would be cool. Nobody is taking ATRTs because they may not be the most efficient use of your points because barks are really good. Yeah. Yep. Or if you're going to take multiple ATRTs, maybe you should just take a saber tank. Right. But if but I I've had and, and orders, for a while, and even without Cody, I was running three ATRTs. Uh, when Synchronized Defensive first came out with HQ uplinks on them. Yep. And so with the three ATRTs and the rotaries, 
I'd, I'd, I'd gone back and forth between rotaries, flamers, and, and the, the laser cannon. Laser, the laser cannon. cannon is useful, in my opinion, with the Republic because of fire support. Yeah. That three dice on the re, the Rebel one, you, you've you got to worry about cover. Yeah. you got to worry about heavy cover. Yeah. Okay, well, there goes two of your dice. Yeah, it's impact right. three. But. Right, right. So, but if you're fire supporting in with your missile launcher and you've got the three impact plus two impact from the missile launcher plus all those extra dice. Right, you're getting at least three dice from the missile launcher, so now yeah. it's a six dice pool. Yeah. Your surge hit, yeah. you know, if it's a phase one Z6, you're adding in 10 dice extra yeah. that are gonna have impact yeah. three surge yeah. to hit, yeah. So. Yeah. so. So you can, make, you can make that work, and then on the one pip, uh, you can get a bunch of orders out there with the uh, HQ uplink, so now you're, yep. because they're uplinking everybody, and so now you've got this huge fire supporting thing that maybe a counter to some lat delivery lists right. or or, yeah. or or like my list that I've got up with Cody. It's Cody, a couple ATRTs, and some Wookiees. Yeah. Because, oh look, Vader just got dropped off or Vader's coming. That's fine. There's a Wookiee squad you get to chew through. Yeah, and that's and that's something else too. That's what I I, I still worry about my list with the, yep. and having a linebacker, just you know, three freaking Wookiees just to go mm-hmm. make somebody but that's yeah. So here we are rambling. So what's yeah, on your rambling. paint table right now? What's on your paint table right now? Uh, Napoleonics actually. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Napoleonics. Nice. Did you take a picture? Um, I, I did. Uh, okay. Uh, it's the one I've already shared. So I mean, it's not a. It's, New? it's not. Yeah. It's not today picture. But okay. It was, All right. It's All within right. the last couple of days. Right. Um. I'm. I think probably on the list. I got to try to remember off the top of my head. There's also some battle mechs on there and some free blades. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Because just a shit ton of there's. There's, yeah, yeah. There's a yeah. There's yeah. some unpainted. There, there could possibly be a Padme because I was been busy painting her up. Okay. Um, there are still arcs that are primed black that might be in the background uh-huh. that I haven't continued painting, but they're they're primed. <laughs> right. Um, and there may also be some more Napoleonics that are primed in the background right. of that as well. Nice. Yeah. So lots so, of lots of Napoleonics <clears throat> because again, that's kind of we've done a couple games of that it's that it scratches an itch that i've been yeah i did yeah it's speaking of which while we're talking about napoleonics and and then i'll go into my three painting tables that i got going on right now um yeah so we are looking for a way to do campaigns uh that we can do like uh because there's blucher there's there's all kinds of different campaign systems out there that that you need a moderator for what we would like to find is somebody that does code that can help us out to make a general campaign system where you can have multiple players, a fog of war, you can put in some stuff that can give you some scout moves. And, right. and we found, I did a search, we found something, but we, all of them kind of seem to need to have that yeah. the GM. They need they need the game right. master. And there was one that was CPU, but it was only a two player. Right. And it was, it, it was, wasn't, and it wasn't very big, yeah. like it, map yeah, wise. Yeah, map wise. So we, I don't know about you guys at your store, but when you do a campaign, you get like five, six, seven guys, but then it always kind of peters out because somebody has to run it, and you got, and then people can't make it every yeah. time. And but if you've got, funny. if you've got a way that you can all just do a computer move, and then the computer says, well, you scout this guy over here, and and when you run into each other, it tells you, well, you two have to fight a battle here, and then you can put in the information and stuff. So we're we're kind of looking for something like that, or maybe we can... anything. I mean, and if it's if if you're somebody that plays 40k and you've got a 40k planet invasion one, hey, let us know. We can right. We right. we can wave the mind, wave the hand, mind right. it. So say, okay, yeah, so, this is just you're up. Or if you know a coder that is, can do that, that, can do something yeah. like that, and get them in touch with us or something like that. So we'd yeah. appreciate it. So uh, on my painting table upstairs, I took a picture of it. Uh, I've got Napoleonics because I changed my list from before. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and then uh, so I got to paint some cavalry up. Uh, I, I've got some half put together uh, Mandos from the Shadow Collective. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a ton of stuff and a whole bunch of paints. And that's the painting table like upstairs. So I actually have a dedicated painting table downstairs which has got all kinds of paints that I never use because I just go upstairs and I have a table sitting upstairs so I'll take a picture with on that too. And then I've got a bunch of stuff down here that I'm working on for terrain so I'll take yeah. some pictures of that too. So we'll get a bunch of pictures and we'll post them out there at some point. Dave's picture. working on my train. Does that count? Yeah. We'll do a picture of that. Yeah, sure. Dave's working on your train for the for the. He train. he. When I went to the game store last week, Dave owns the game store. Yes. Yeah. Dave Games Plus One yep. Davenport. Yep. Yep. Love it. Um, 
<laughs> he saw the that I had a whole bunch of the um, uh, Imperial Train uh, rock outcroppings. Yep. I think it's Imperial. Yeah, Imperial Train. Yep. And, uh, and he was like, oh, he's just like, you know, do you, do you need somebody to paint those? And I thought he was joking. And I was like, sure. He's like, well, I'll take one. And I was like, really? He's like, oh, yeah, I've gotten this whole new technique thing. He's like, I can do terrain. Now, mind you, Dave already has the second table ready to go. Yes. He's, yes. He's, he did one table right. for the for, for the, the store. store. Yeah. And, and it's it's a nice table. It's not Beautiful. just the leftover stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then now he has a second table that he has gotten ready to go. Looks that is really good, too. Yeah, yeah it does. Um, he's also been doing the terrain for the Battletech stuff, yes. which looks amazing. Um, so, well, he's he's taken now like four more of my rock outcroppings, and he's going to do them in the same thing as this. Hopefully, Rich is putting the picture up right now. Uh, I like it. It's great. Yeah, it's looks a, great. And I don't have to do it, and so that's even even better. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was that was on the list of things to do, was to get the terrain all painted. And I was like, all right, that means... Armies that I want to paint for fun are getting shelved because right, I've got right. this tournament in right. a month and a half. That I get, and then now he's taking care of the vast majority of it. So all of it probably still won't get painted because I only have to bring one table now instead of two. Yeah, so just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we gotta yeah. figure that out. Again. No, no, yeah, we got it. We, yeah, 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 it yeah, should right, be. Right. It should be according to Austin according to and everything we and got. Matt, yep. they, they're yep. bringing each a table. So yep. and we've got Snowbarger and Chris on yep. backup. And then we got then, uh, two from Dave. And, and then two from Dave, from and six me. from you, and one from me. So yeah, yeah. we just need 12. So, yeah. which is, I think, kind of cool. That's It's very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Rich, we're, are we're you painting anything? What do you got? He's got Napoleonics on his table. I was going to say, you posted a picture before. In the amount of time that it took me to paint one stand of Napoleonics, I think Darren painted probably two battalions. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, progress, man. Yeah, but yours looks better than mine. Mine, oh, mine are three foot good. <laughs> That's right. Don't you forget the name of the channel. That's why. Looks good from far away. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, those are French Napoleonics. Ooh. Yeah, they're not oh, so good. Man, I hope we get to do the team tournament this year. Or next year, I guess. Oh, the team tournament? Yeah, already, yeah he's already got lists for the team tournaments. Right? Oh, I was. Okay, it was bad because when Cody got announced, I started making. Wait a minute. I'm like. If, if he takes Cody and I can take Rex, I'm like, we don't need to take... I'm like, we'll take all of these... I'm like, wait a minute. Cody's not going to be out by Adepticon next year. I'm like, oh, Dark never mind. Ball. And then and then the team event may or may not happen yeah, because, because of the Adepticon game, yeah. itself doesn't know because of the yeah. whole world's yeah. thing. Oh, well. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So, you guys really need to stop watching us because we're just rambling now. And if yeah, you've you hung out this long, this is for you. Uh, and then uh, the rest of it, uh, yeah, stop watching us. Get out there and roll some nice day.